So we're here today with All City Animal Trapping. And uh, one of the questions that we've been uh, getting asked often is, what do I do with a dead animal? Absolutely. And that's, it's a little bit of a difficult one. I can help people with some of the simpler stuff, but most of the time you're going to have to call a professional to get it disposed of. But to clarify a couple of things, uh, the first thing is if you catch a rat in a trap or something like that, or a gopher, um, you are allowed to throw rodents away in your own trash can. I'm not sure how people, how comfortable people are with that because they will end up smelling, but you are allowed to with the smaller rodents um, dispose of them properly, just like you're allowed to trap them yourself. So I guess the same rules apply to that. Now crossing over into cats and dogs, those basically always have to go to the shelter. Problem being right now, um, is not all of the shelters are operating at full capacity or taking any animals in. But I guess the different, differentiation becomes um, with cats and dogs, they consider them domestic wildlife. With raccoons, possums, skunks, they consider them nuisance wildlife. So your animal shelter will only deal with domestic wildlife for the most part, which is essentially cats and dogs, which has created the market that we work in for nuisance wildlife. Um, Nuisance wildlife, you can't throw it in your trash can. You can't throw it, don't pull up to a dumpster somewhere and throw it in the dumpster. You're gonna to need to call around, find a company like us that can pick it up and get it disposed of properly. There are places that you can take them that deal with that sort of thing. Um, and you know, our company deals with it all the time. The weird difference with animal control is even before um, or pre-COVID, if so i have i've had some really strange jobs where like i've had to remove deer off people's properties or, or things like really really large animals and uh you know the animal shelter wants nothing to do with that if it can't fit i believe in a 35 gallon drum they will not take it um a lot of times they won't take skunks because they smell or anything like that and they will still charge you for all those things as well it's not a free service with animal control a lot of the time on stuff like that especially if you're giving them something to dispose of they have costs just like we do of disposing the animal outside of that uh there's not too much you can do besides calling a professional especially with stuff in your yard you have to be careful careful with coyotes get to a lot of things in the areas that i work with you don't want to go up and put your hands on it or anything like that you want to use gloves and a bag and a mask the same way you would treat anything else um, a lot of times when animals die as well they avoid their bowels you're gonna have to deal with that all that stuff is pretty gross and one of the bigger reasons that people usually leave it up to companies like ours um, you can call around you can try and find other places but the reality is rodents you can put in your own trash can cats and dogs if they're yours and they have a chip and things like that you can at least call the shelter that you got it from and see what they recommend but everything outside of that is basically considered nuisance wildlife in which case you would have to call totally different company, somebody like ours, animal removal services, things like that, which is different than animal control because that's city and state run. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you. No problem. Thank you.